Hello everyone and welcome to a 20 second, I suppose, C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials and um, I actually started making so many C++ tutorials that I don't really got the correct count of them so um, if I say a wrong number then don't be upset, it's just my memory that is not like the best ever and um, today's tutorial is going to be about something called built-in functions and actually C++ made some pretty cool functions for you that will you know make it able to um, generate random numbers and that all by itself almost so um, you just create a new source file and let's get around to it because I have a feeling this tutorial is not going to go like um, so fast so um, yeah let's get started and if my keyboard will cooperate with me it will just be great And now we will type s rand two parameters a parameter unsigned parameter time parameter zero parameter and now int we just call and call this in random set it equal to rand two of these are parameters and rand is also a built-in function now I'm type c out random just to print out the random number it got to well first of all we got this is random thing right here is random thing and it's a built-in function so you know it's a function that already exists so we have to we don't have to declare it by ourselves but we include it when we include this so it knows what function we're talking about and it has one argument it has a unsigned int and an unsigned int means that you know the integer we're getting and that is a uh, zero I don't know why but the time this uh, time which is also a built-in function just has to have one argument and that's zero and we make a time unsigned by typing this parameter unsigned parameter in front of it so it tells C++ that make this uh, function unsigned so it will be able to change you know unsigned means that it will not be signed to a specific value if you try and move on so it says signed you see that's also a keyword and that means that it, it, that it can only pick one specific number all the time because it's a signed value it's assigned to one thing but we don't want that we want random numbers so we type unsigned and I don't know why time zero just has to have zero as the argument in here but hey it just has to and now down here we say that we've got an int right here called random and that is equal to a random uh, and that is equal to the function rand which is also a um, built-in function and the uh, rand the rand function has a um, data type called int so you cannot if this were a um, if random thing right here were a, a bool a boolean it will not be able to be assigned to a um, int function so that's why that random has to be int data type and uh, that's good for us because we know we need numeric um, random numbers for this tutorial so um, that's just perfect and then it'll print out the random number I got to and I'm talking hit F9 save this file as um, build underscore in underscore functions and as you see the random number I got to was uh, 2448 now if you try and hit F9 again just to see that it works now it picks another number 2481 if you try and hit F9 again you'll get 2510 I don't know why at all it takes something up in 2000 right now pretty much but um hey that's just where it is and I see it keeps on in 2500 uh, thing but um, it is random numbers, so uh, it's just, you know, destiny. I don't know why. But it is random numbers, so uh, enough to chat. Um, what this actually does, as I already said to you, this will make uh, this random thing actually pick a random number because we say that we have a unsigned value right here. So if you try and erase this line and hit F9, you see it says 41. 
If John hit his nine again. Forty one. If nine again. And again, again, 41. And then we'll keep uh, picking 41. So that's why this is needed if you actually want random numbers. But, um, actually, now what if you would like to have a limit on it? Because if you try and hit F9 right now, you will see that, you know, it always picks some pretty high numbers like 2762 and that's a pretty high number so what if you would like it to be in a range of 10 so the maximum number is 10 then type this uh, person sign I don't know what it's called in um, English um, but um, I just call it the person sign set that and then 10 plus 1 now it will say that the maximum value it can pick is 10 and we put this and we put this plus one thing because you know the computer starts to count at zero so if you don't put this plus one thing it'll not be able to pick the highest number you say then it'll take nine instead of ten but with a plus one it'll allow ten to be uh, counted in as a possible choice too and then it prints out the random number I got to to uh, yeah to see if it works to adjust it f9 And now it's just 2, so I hit F9 again, 2 again, and you know if, uh, if, a, um, if the same number occurs like 2 times in a row, it's just because that, um, you know, uh, the lower you set the maximum number, the, the bigger the chance is to get the same number, so that's why, and as you see now it says 5, hit F9 again, now it's just 4, so you see, uh, that's random numbers. But also I'm going to show you one more built-in function and it will not take very long time to explain and I'm very um, happy for that because I don't suppose I have much time left I mean like stupid YouTube they only give you 10 minutes to explain something and that's really hard if you want to give a good explanation so I am talking really fast right now so now you just type underscore sleep and uh, we want to make it um, a visible thing so just type 5000 in here and if you try and hit F9 right now, you see that it waits and 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 it waits. And then finally it says 1. And instead of printing it the instant uh, second you hit F9 and the program is um, displayed on the screen, it waits a certain amount of time because, you know, it delays the action typed just underneath the sleep method. You know, uh, this will actually delay the actions, all the actions that are typed below this uh, sleep call. And uh, actually, you know, we always remember the underscore. Underscore sleep is exactly the name. So if you move this underscore, it will not be able to, um, you know, it will not be able to understand what you mean because then it will say that that function is not existing. So, um, yeah, that's why underscore is always required. Also, you might notice that we put 5000 in here. That's because uh, this is the delay time we wanted to delay it, and you made like 5,000. Wow, that's really long time. Then why didn't it take that long time? That's because that uh, it puts the delay time in milliseconds, and as you know, 1,000 milliseconds is one milliseconds, so it's one second. Sorry, so 5,000 milliseconds is five seconds. So if you put something like one, it'll just delay it by one millisecond, and uh, yeah, that's faster than you can uh, blink your eyes or wink your eyes. So you know, they'll not make any difference. If you type something like two thousand, maybe it'll wait two seconds before it does this action. So um, actually, that was your tutorial on uh, building functions, just to give you a um good uh, a good explanation and a good way to sh use the f uh, built-in functions I probably use the most and um, yep so uh, I guess I'll just make a real quick tutorial on uh, one more build function maybe two in the next tutorial too so um, yep but I don't have time for that in this tutorial so I'll just see you right now before my time runs out see